Well, hello everybody, Joy here. Ah, I'm really at the end of six videos, but I'm going back and making the beginning. <laughs> because one of you asked me, when I told you I just finished six shirts for myself because of these skinny pants my daughter got me for Mother's Day. I said I had finished six shirts and um, she said, well, show them to us. So following this introduction, which is really the benediction, <laughs> you know that's how they do that on those jewelry tutorials, I figured that out. Anyhow, um, getting ready to show you my six shirts, then I'm going to go over to the barn and see what I can do to help my husband clean out his barn. I'm sure he doesn't want me to help him, <laughs> but I thought I'd go over there and offer my two cents worth. So I'll be back and maybe I'll have mom with me next time, okay? So here we go. Number one coming up. This is number one because it happens to be what I'm wearing this morning. <laughs> Terry just told me it looks like what they used to wear on Laugh-In in the 60s. <laughs> so if people start laughing when they see me today, I guess I'll know why. <laughs> so you know about my new favorite pants that my daughter got me for a Mother's Day, you know. She got me the ones that are uh, capris, but I went and I got these longer ones because <clears throat> I just like my legs covered up. So anyway, this particular pattern, I made four of these. And I made them in two days, guys. They're so easy. They go together so fast. So this is the pattern that it is. And you can see on the cover that I made it a long time ago in a short version. And so here's the four fabrics that I made the other day. Pamela's pattern and it is the it's this it's this one right here inside and that has that cardigan you can make to go over it and Pamela she makes her patterns for older people older bodies with round backs and sway backs and um, bigger bellies and stuff and so her patterns are pretty good right out of the box they really are I've been surprised so all I did was add six inches to the length of this hey have you all ever watched Peggy Sager's if you don't know Peggy Sagers, go to YouTube and look up Silhouette Patterns. She has, oh, she has this new thing, I don't know what it's called, where she does a new video and they're just short. They're just like three, five minutes long where she does these short little videos. What does she call it? Mm, I didn't know I was going to talk about that or I would have looked it up. But um, you can watch her cut things out. <laughs> and I tell you... Get ready for your mouth to hang open and think, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing that. But um, watching her, she takes a pattern, one of hers of course, out of an envelope and she'll do all kinds of different things with it. And she'll take one style and she'll turn it into something completely different. You wouldn't even know it came from that pattern. And so she's always lengthening things. And so I thought, ah, well, I need best mind. I can at least lengthen something, you know. I don't have to go take a class for that. So I took this, which is usually short to here, and I don't, not only did I lengthen it, I added, let me see if I can show you. I have to hurry up because I'm going to show you a bunch of these. This is just number one. I added to the width of it. I cut up to the bust point. I think it had a dart. It had a dart. I know it. This is the back, so you can't see. But in the front, I closed the dart and opened it up. And in the back, I cut it straight up here and over to the armhole. And then I added, I don't know, two inches, maybe an inch and a half at the bottom. And so I, and then I added, oh, maybe a tad over here at the waist. Okay, so that's how I got the fullness in it. It's cool, huh? Let me see if I can show you the front. Yeah. My daughter sent me these and I said, oh, I'm going to wear these around the house. And she said, oh, mother, you can wear them everywhere. And she sent me all these pictures of ladies wearing these longer tops with these tight-fitting pants. What are they called? Leotards? I just call them leotards. What are they called now? Leggings? Yeah, here's the top. And so you can see here, there used to be a bus dart right here. And I have folded out the bust dart, and instead of adding it all right under the apex, I cut it over here to the side and straight up and down, and so I added here and here. And so there's a bunch added in there, but that equals the bust dart. I didn't add that much in the back. You saw that because I didn't want the back, you know, super flary. I just wanted the front. 
So anyway, you can see how I changed Pamela's pattern and made me a whole new one. So this is number one. I'll show you number two next. Okay, this is number two. I'm calling it number two. It's actually just the second one I'm showing you guys. And did I tell you the date? Who cares what the date is? I probably said it at the beginning. It doesn't matter. Um, this is one of my very favorite patterns. It's the uh, Kim from Stylark, and I'll show you the pattern in a minute. But I have decided I don't like the back of it. I think the back is too long. And I think what it needs is a bigger sway back correction. Because if I pull the middle of the back up, then it lifts that tail in the back. And it doesn't look so long. I don't know if you can tell by what I'm doing. So anyway, the next version that I make of the Kim, you remember the Kim. Style art patterns. I made it a bunch of times. I don't have the, I don't have all of my um, papers glued to it. But um, what I did on it, the only change I made on it was the sleeve. The sleeve on this Kim top. See if you can see it on her. Well, actually, I can't see it on her. I lengthened it. I lengthened it to make it three quarters, and I think it comes like right at your elbow on the regular pattern. So that's all I've done on that, is lengthen the sleeve to make it a little longer because I like it below my elbow. So, that's number two, and I'll be back with three, four, and five, and six. Well, hey everybody, Joy here. It's a Saturday morning and everybody in the household's grumpy today. I've decided to come up here and hide and stay away from them. I went into my mom's bedroom and she's sitting in her chair, still in her pajamas and her house coat. And I fed her breakfast at 8 o'clock this morning. It's 10.30. So she left the kitchen about 9 and she went in her room to change her clothes and get her, um, her little sink bath that she does and fix her hair and everything. But um, I just went in there to check on her. And she's still sitting in her chair and she's still in her pajamas. And I said, oh, mom, you're not dressed yet. She said, well, I just ate breakfast. I said, no, you didn't. That was over an hour ago. I said, do you need me to pick out some clothes for you? Do you need me to help you? No, I just need you to go away. So when she gets like that, I just immediately start bawling. It hurts my feelings. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It, it makes me feel so sad for her, so sorry for her. Um, that her brain is in such a fog, it's hard. And, and that personality is very, very rare, praise God. I mean, the last time she did it was over a week ago when the preacher came. And so, you know, I'm happy that it doesn't happen very often, but boy, it sure is hard when she is in that mood. Anyway, I want to tell you guys something. Oh, this is number three, top number three. Remember I made six tops and one of you said, show us all your tops. And so this, and it's not really number three, it's just three of six. And so I have three more to show you, but, um, and of course I have my Tammy pants on. <laughs> I think I bought ten pair of them since she gave me that for Mother's Day. So this is, again, the Pamela pattern. And I think if I make it again, I might shorten it. Maybe two inches. I think I might shorten it two inches. I just, I don't like the look of a dress with pants under it. And so if they get very long, I feel like I look like I'm wearing a dress. I saw a lady the other day with a dress halfway down her calf and then she had pants on like normal pants underneath it and I mean, she was a real fancy high-class lady and I thought ooh, I don't like that look <laughs> anyway I want to tell you guys something if you like looking at clothes that people have made there is this beautiful young girl her name is Lisa Comfort C-O-M-F-O-R-T like comfortable and she's from the UK and she is the creator of patterns called Sew Over It. Let me write it down. I came over here to the board so I could write it down. Of course, I don't know how you can see it with me in front of it. But we'll try. Let's use black. Sew Over It. That's the name of her patterns. And some of her patterns are really cute, but I'm not gonna pay $20,000 break to get them here to America. <laughs> and her name is Lisa Comfort. Now she's just had her first baby and she's on maternity leave right now. But if you will go to YouTube and search, sew over it, 
oh my goodness, there must be over a hundred of her videos where she has made many um, outfits out of each pattern and she is in her house and she has this upstairs loft or something that her camera's set up in and she always shows all the clothes that she's made and she's very young and very pretty and everything looks gorgeous on her and so um, I have really enjoyed watching her so anyway this is number three and um, I don't know when I'll get four or five and six on my sinuses today oh allergies Ah, ah, hold on. Whew. One, two, three. <laughs> Maybe if I count. <laughs> I went out yesterday when I got home. One of my babysitter ladies was here for mother. And I asked her if she'd stay. I said, would you just stay a little while longer so I can go out on my patio and play with my plants and my pots and my dirt. <laughs> and I went out there and I um, grabbed a speaker system that I have because all the television equipment and sound equipment we had on the patio we put in mother's room so mother could have her TV on all day long and so I don't have that on my patio anymore so I took out my big speaker it's got two little ones and then one big one and you can plug it into your phone or your iPad and I did that and so I turned up my music and I was singing and dancing and planting plants and getting on my swing and swinging and oh it was heaven only today my head is going why did you do that dummy now you have allergy attack <laughs> i was up all night blowing my nose oh my goodness i tell you what <clears throat> i could wallpaper the house and the whole neighborhood <laughs> kleenex mom and my feet <laughs> anyhow i'll let you go for now i'm gonna go make something i've got sleeves to put in number six and so i need to get that done but i'll be back soon and don't forget if you can even see the board, I can't tell. So over it and Lisa Comfort. If you like to see clothes people have made, you will love her website. She's just adorable. I wish she'd show us her new baby. All right. Bye for now. <laughs> All right. Here I am in four of six. You've seen one, two, and three. This is four. This is still the Pamela one. I made four of those in two days, remember? So easy, so fast. You can either put a band, a little, um, oh, how I did this one. It's a band. If I can get up close in the light, maybe you can see the band. I like it this way better than just folded under and top stitched because it's really, really hard to fold it under here on the curves. And so I like adding this little band much better. I think there's one here. Is there one here? Are you a band? Or are you folded under? No, this is folded under. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see the number three if it had a band. Here's number three. It has a band. Here. Put the light on the shirt, Bert. Can you see how it has the band? I think you cut it one and a half inches wide and then you sew it on and so then it has the seam and then you sew all the way around sewing that seam down. And so this is my favorite is to have that. Then in a couple of them I put um, stay tape around the curve of the neck so this one doesn't stretch just when my hair is all messed up this one doesn't stretch when I put it over my head this one stretches a lot when I put it over my head so I prefer this one to this one insofar as the way I finish the neck and the uh, armholes I just fold back and stitch because they're easier they're more even and the bottom steam a seam light <laughs> and then sew it okay so this is number four and i wish i had some red pants to wear with it <laughs> anyway let me put number five on Ta -da! <laughs> this is five of six but actually it's number one it's the first one that i made you have all already seen it but many of you asked me where i got the material the material is kind of funky to cut out because you can end up with black on your boobs or flowers on your boobs or <laughs> whatever. But it's lovely fabric. And I got it from fabric.com and I just bought it a couple weeks ago. I don't know what its name is, but look under knits and if you see the print, you'll recognize it. Get up a little bit closer so you can see the print. And if you'll just look through their knits, I'm sure you'll see it there if they still have it. I think it was expensive. 
but um, I mean expensive to me if it's over six bucks a yard it's expensive <laughs> no that's not true I pay fourteen dollars a yard sometimes but I wait for sales anyway this is number five there's one more and I'll be back to show you it all right enjoy here for the last one this is number six six of six I just got this lace put in this one now, I don't know if you can tell, this is kind of a goofy print to do this with, but I cut it on a diagonal, some way or the other. <laughs> and I cut the sleeves on the diagonal, but it's such, such a crazy print, I don't know if you can even tell. So anyway, this is another Kim top. So I've made two Kim tops and four, what's that company? Same Style Art, Style Art Kim's. No, this is Style Art Kim, and the other one is Pamela Pamela. I've been outside in the heat, you guys, so. <laughs> anyway, this is it. So, I am going to upload all these videos for the ladies that asked me to show you my six new tops. And then I think I'm going to find something I've never made before, or... I know what I'm going to do because you know my friend Deb. She's lost a bunch of weight. And uh, so she's starting over with her sure, sure fit designs. And so I may get mine out and try to design something. You know, get my little paper doll and draw some lines on her. <laughs> I, I don't know. How do y'all feel about that new look where the shoulders are bare? I have seen it on everybody, even Terry. And I just, I just think it looks goofy. To me, it looks like it's torn from the shoulder and it's just hanging down and it shouldn't be. So don't expect me to make one of those bare shoulders or no shoulders or cold shoulders, whatever it's called. <laughs> I like to have my whole arm in there. <laughs> but you know, they are doing everything in the world with sleeves these days. And backs, they're doing stuff with backs and sleeves. But you know, I don't walk around like this. So... <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what's on the back? <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of goofy. I just found out something I wish I hadn't found out. And Jerry and I are both like, What is this world coming to? <laughs> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so anyhow, I want to say goodbye for now. And I'll be back real soon with... Oh, and I'm going to start my quilt. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? I have to show you. Yes, I got my rare as hen's teeth Arita Sitar white on white, or what does she call it? Oh, winter white, winter white. She didn't have it on her website. None of the fabric stores had it. None of the boutique stores had it. And I found this piece on eBay of all places. It was full price or more than almost $12 a yard. But I'm so glad to get it because now I can start my spool quilt. So I don't know, maybe I'll start it next. I didn't sleep very good last night. I probably shouldn't start anything new. <laughs> I hope Deb calls me and tells me what she came up with. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm signing out for today. Bye.